Hey there beautiful people and welcome back again to my channel. If you're seeing my face for the first time, hi, hello, my name is Weena and you my darling are most definitely welcome. So if you actually clicked to watch this video, I want to assume that you probably just started a YouTube channel or you're looking to start a YouTube channel and you want to know how do I grow this channel? What should I be doing? What steps should I take? What things should I be doing to achieve uh, this first milestone on YouTube? Because having your first 1000 subscribers and your first 4000 watch hours are like the first milestones you have to achieve on YouTube. And the truth is a lot of people struggle with this. Just last month I hit this 1000 subscriber milestone and I would say there are definitely a lot of things that I have changed and I have done over especially the past six months because this was when I started taking this YouTube thing super seriously even though I started in 2018 but the biggest effort I've put into my YouTube is actually in the past six months and I've actually seen results I have seen results. So those tips, those tricks, what you need to do to actually get your first 1000 subscribers, I am going to be sharing in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. The first tip is consistency. Consistency is key. I know, I know, I've heard it over and over again. It's sounding cliche, but it is true. On this YouTube streets, consistency is key. And what consistency is for one person could be totally different from what consistency is for the other person. YouTube is actually one of the hardest and most time consuming content platforms because it involves you planning, uh, scripting, uh, recording, editing, uploading. Oh, the list just goes on and on. YouTube is not a platform where you just feel you want to be consistent for like one month and you give up. What is consistency for you in the next one year, two years, three years, four, five years on YouTube? Because many of us just think that YouTube is this short term goal or this short term plan. I just want to upload two or three videos and then I want to blow up and that is it. Mm -mm. YouTube is in for the long run. So what is consistency to you? If you know you're not going to be consistent with this platform, then don't bother. Like I said, I started my YouTube channel in 2018 and I wasn't consistent. I wasn't consistent, so I didn't see any growth. So I was on 500 subscribers, I think for like most of the years, about two, three years of starting YouTube. But when I was consistent just from October last year till now, I've had over 500 or 600 subscribers within that six months time span. So imagine if I started uh, 2018 and I was consistent, I would have had more subscribers than I do have right now. So consistency is key. And like I said, consistency is different for different folks. For me, consistency is uploading one video every week. And what does that mean? We have 56 weeks in a year. So meaning by the time 2023 ends, I should have at least 56 videos on my YouTube channel. Consistency to others might be two videos a week. And that is 112 videos in a year. So what is consistency to you? Because consistency on YouTube is key if you want to hit the 1000 subscriber milestone quickly. And I tell you, it's even easier now because in one week, two weeks, one month, I've seen people achieve this 1000 subscriber milestone. Easy peasy. 
So how many videos do I need to post in a week? This is a question that a lot of YouTubers ask. Also, how long should my video be? Should it be 10 minutes? Should it be 30 minutes? Should it be one hour? That decision is left for you to make. But the best advice I can give you is make sure that you have a video a week on your YouTube channel and be consistent with that. Don't just jump into creating, say, two videos a week. Can you keep up with that? So if you know that consistency for you is one video a week, you know that every week you should have something to put up on your YouTube channel. And for me, this year, 2023, consistency for me is putting up at least one video a week. And if you're just starting your YouTube channel, before you even post your first video, my advice for you would be have like four to five YouTube content batch recorded that you will upload so that you can always meet up with your every week target to have a video up a week or two videos up a week, depending on what consistency is for you. The next tip is to pick a niche. I know this is also one part of YouTube content creation that a lot of people struggle with, including me, I'm not even going to lie. So what is a niche? So according to the dictionary, a niche is a comfortable or suitable position in life or employment, or it is also a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. So what we can get from this definition is that your niche should be some something or somewhere that you're comfortable with that is natural to you as well as a segment or a particular kind of product or service that you are specialized at. Okay, so I'll give a vivid example. Say, okay, you're like, oh, my niche would be fitness. You can't just say fitness because fitness is like really broad, sort of. So you can narrow it down to be like, oh, fitness for moms, fitness for people with back and knee problems. Do you understand? So you have to narrow down your niche. Um, when I first started my YouTube channel, my niche was catered to medical students. That was what I had in mind. Oh, I wanted to um, let medical or incoming medical student know what it feels like for an African to school in Philippines and what the process was, how hectic my internship was, the hurdles I met. You know, that was the idea surrounding my channel at the time. But now life has taken me in another direction. Um, I still want to talk about medical things. I want to talk about the health things, but also I've also moved you know, into a situation in my life where the situations have changed. So right now I'm in a foreign land and I remember when I was searching to come to Northern Ireland, I was looking, oh, are they Nigerians in Northern Ireland? Are they Africans in Belfast? Where do I get um, African food from and all that? So I saw the problem and when I finally moved in here, I felt like my channel should also cater to that because we're already having an influx of Africans into Northern Ireland as well. And some people have reached out to me that they actually find my vlogs or some of my videos useful useful as well and some even you know message me to ask questions so basically your niche should be a niche that um, gives value so what are people gaining when they visit your channel or when they come to watch your videos or what is that thing that is really pressing you know in your heart or what is that skill that you have that you want to share with your community, okay? So if you're the person that knows what your niche is or what you would really love your YouTube to be about, there are a few questions you should actually ask yourself. Who is my video for? What problem am I solving with my content 
on the streets of YouTube. What unique approach can I create for this particular topic? Because whether you like it or not, say your YouTube caters to fitness, you are not the only fitness uh, content creator on YouTube. So what uniqueness, what is that touch? What is that different aspect that you bring, you know, into the fitness world, so to say? So these are the things you have to put in mind when you're trying to think or figure out your niche. But are you in a situation where, yes, I've thought about it, I've done this, I've done that, I don't really know where I fit into this aspect of, or oh, niche on YouTube. My advice for you is this. Even if you don't have a niche currently, you can be a niche. What do I mean? We are all unique, we have our own pers um our own different abilities or uniqueness so you can be your own niche how do i mean say i am a medical student and i'm just making myself a niche so it could be like say amazon favorites of a medical student uh, best supermarkets for medical students that is cheap or affordable you know, something around your personnel or your person. You know, you can create content around that. That's why we have a lot of uh, YouTube channels catering to motherhood, fatherhood, uh, living in a foreign country, traveling. The list goes on and on. But trust me, when you don't know what niche to belong to or what to do, just keep uploading keep creating content and as time goes on you would know you would tell that oh i actually enjoy creating um educational content more or i, I actually like creating um inspirational content more you would just figure out where your heart gears or leans towards but that is it while you're looking to think or access what niche you should fall into just keep creating you know just keep enjoying the world of creating content and trust me you would find your niche the third tip i would give with regards to getting a thousand subscribers quickly is to use seos to your advantage so what is seo seo means search engine optimization to explain it in layman's term it is simply strategy that you put in place to make people find you better or faster with great seo tools you get to create searchable content trending content and content that nobody else has created. So some of the search engines that a lot of creators use are YouTube. So when you put some keywords on YouTube, so you see what people are searching for, you see what people are, 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 are viewing. Uh, also TikTok, say you're a fitness person, you can just put fitness or in the search bar on TikTok and just, you know, scan through, see what people are watching, what people are gearing towards, you know, what is trending. Uh, like recently, for example, I think there's a trend in the makeup world where uh, they use, um, this hot glue and then they put like chrome eyeshadow on it glue it to the face to do design and a lot of makeup artists are jumping on this trend and getting views getting subscribers getting followers so this that's what i mean by like a, having a good seo tool also people use pinterest answer the public uh but what i personally use uh, i use vidiq to body and um, keywords everywhere. So these are the search engine optimization tools that I use. Uh, so you can put in keywords in there. If you have any idea of a YouTube video you want to want to sh uh, shoot, you put in the the search there. You see what is trending. You see um, what people are watching, and then you optimize your channel in that direction of your niche. Also, a new one that is in the world of tech is chat GPT or using AI. So AI is a thing that is blowing up in the internet right now. You can use AI to help with your content creation as well. I'm not saying that have AI do everything for you, but it can 
best optimize say things like keywords uh, hashtags uh, probable thumbnails the list is just endless so we have these tools at the tip of our fingers and for you to grow a thousand subscribers you have to start using these tools make sure that your title is well written and is a title that will have a good click-through rate on youtube so you use these optimization tools to know what is trending uh what you have to do what topics you should be posting about in your niche and the list goes on and on so please use seo tools to your advantage the next tip would be to use youtube shorts um YouTube Shorts is a part of YouTube that has just been, you know, introduced into the YouTube content creation world. And it would be foolish not to take advantage of this because uh, YouTube Shorts is also a way of um, getting monetized on YouTube. If you don't want to post just regular videos, you can also post YouTube Shorts. But the criteria for that um, is you have to have um, 10 million views in the last 90 days to qualify for a monetization requirement on YouTube Shorts as well as having a thousand subscribers. There are some people on YouTube that their thing is just YouTube Shorts and they have millions and thousands of subscribers. So the ball is in your court do you just want to do youtube shorts but even if you're posting regular videos please do youtube shorts i cannot overemphasize i know that i myself am not super utilizing this opportunity but i i am working towards changing that because youtube shorts is another opportunity to get your content you know to people that would even normally not come you know to your platform to watch your videos so somebody might just see a youtube shorts of your channel and be like oh let me just look at this person's youtube channel you know it's a way of getting subscribers as well i remember like my i think my highest youtube shorts video that is about 6k that video alone i got about six subscribers on the first day of uploading that video alone so you can increase your subscriber count by also posting youtube shorts do not sleep on this opportunity and the good thing about youtube shorts is that it's a short form content so you don't have to put in much effort in creating you know uh, larger or more time consuming content like this you can just a five minutes a two minutes video 30 seconds even you know of value content on your shorts and that would also bring people to your channel to subscribe use youtube shorts to your advantage the next tip i will give would be to jump on trends i myself i do not utilize this particular tip to its full potential jump on trends when they are current and when they are fresh adapt these trends to your own uniqueness and to your own personality you don't have to copy the trends action for action or word for word i know that one of the reasons i struggle with trends is because like sometimes some of these trends don't really align well with me and even when they align with me the struggle is that sometimes i've already batched filmed and i feel like oh i have this video for that week so jumping on the trend means that i have to push that video a bit more which sometimes I need to upload that video at a particular time for it to be relevant so that's one of the issues I have with jumping on trends but for those that do it really works there was one youtuber I followed and I think uh, there was a trend on TikTok then where they use a skincare product of eggs and Vaseline and something like that and she jumped on that trend and she uploaded that video on her YouTube and she got about 2 million views this was somebody that had about maybe 5,000 um, subscribers or something and she had 2 million views so sometimes this trend works for people so jump on trends that are comfortable with you and you feel like that you can really execute don't jump on trends for jump on trends sake but just make sure that when you're jumping on trends it, it brings value 
to your content or to your subscribers value could be anything fun educational inspirational and the list goes on and on so make sure that if you if you're deciding to jump on trends film that trend and upload it before the trend goes out of style or out of fashion okay the next tip i would give to get a thousand subscribers very fast or to grow on youtube would be to know the youtube platform know the statistics of youtube and know how youtube is run some of us are coming on youtube to be creators and we've not even done any research to what youtube is what the algorithm is about what the criteria or the requirements are what the guidelines of youtube are no 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 research on youtube you want to grow on youtube you want to have so so amount of subscribers you want to be better do you know the youtube platform have you read books have you attended courses have you attended youtube masterclass for you there is something my pastor always says for you to reign in a particular area of life you have to be trained i'm not saying go to a youtube school or anything but i'm saying like what what effort have you put into gaining knowledge about youtube do you know what the criteria is to get monetized do you know the guidelines do you know what kind of content you should be creating do you know what you should do do you even know some of the statistics so here are some of the statistics i found online about youtube YouTube has over 2.3 billion monthly active users. That was in 2022. And I know that statistics would have probably increased by now. So you know that you're dealing with a wide sea of opportunity here. YouTube is the number two website by traffic in the US. So meaning that when people are searching for or looking for solutions to their problem, YouTube is the second place they go to. I know Google is the first. So what does this tell you? That you should be creating content that answers people's question or that brings value to people. 51% of viewers who use YouTube use it to learn something new. Is that not a vital information for you as a YouTuber? So meaning you have to be bringing value. You have to be bringing answers to questions people are asking. You have to be bringing um, solutions to the p problems of people here on the YouTube streets. So it also says 32% of videos published are people and blogs. So that's why you see that so many people that do blogs and vlogs, they do really well on their YouTube channel. So that's up to you if you want to make that your niche. YouTube is most popular with those ages 15 to 25 and 26 to 35. So meaning that sometimes you have to, if you want to, you know, create content, you will create it to be age appropriate for ages 15 to 25 and 26 to 35. So are you really studying YouTube? You know, also, apart from studying the YouTube algorithm and everything that has to do with YouTube, are you watching the videos of other YouTube channels or other YouTubers in your niche? Are you seeing what they are doing? Are you seeing how they put their title, how they, they organize their videos and all that? Are you... When I watch youtubers yeah because i watch a lot of youtubers i don't just watch the content and everything i also look at what they are doing behind the scenes like for example i look at their setup oh this youtuber has this color of light behind him or her and oh the i like the way it looks that's how i also went about buying this my setup this my light my camera my 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 lighting my chair by the way if you're looking for the links to my setup it will be in the description below so what do you look at when you watch a youtuber's video you're not going there to copy their content or anything you also learn are you are you taking notes are you taking notes that's the right word like for example i've watched several youtubers use this effect forward 
and backward. And I decided, hmm, that's a good editing skill and I would inculcate it or infuse it into my own video editing skills and I do it sometimes. So when you look at other YouTubers, when you watch people's vlogs, people's videos, don't just focus on their content, focus on other things that you can learn. How, how do they go about their mannerism? How do they talk? How do they organize their words? Uh, how is their setup like? How often do they upload? What is their bio like? How do they arrange their videos? How is their thumbnail like? The list goes on and on. So what is my point? Try to learn about YouTube. Try to learn about other YouTubers. Try to learn about how the things on YouTube work. How do people edit? How do people organize their vlogs? You know, what do they say? How do they introduce their self? How do they sign out of their vlogs? How do they sign out of their videos? How, how is their intro video like? There's, there's so much you can learn on YouTube if you open your eyes to see. So if you want to grow subscribers quickly, you also have to watch other YouTubers in your niche and learn from them. The next tip I'm going to give is to collaborate with other YouTubers. Hey, I am guilty of this one. I don't think since the inception of my YouTube, I've never collaborated with any other YouTuber, but I have seen YouTubers who collaborate and how it really helps. Collaboration will actually help expose your channel to a new audience. It will also create um, new connections in the YouTube community. A vivid example that I have seen is uh, there's this famous um, Nigerian YouTuber, Daina Ikweme, and she had a friend, Utibe. And Utibe recently opened her YouTube. And just because Daina Ikweme you know, featured her on our channel and told her subscribers to please go to Tibet's um, channel and subscribe. I think in a week or so, Utibe had about more than a thousand subscribers even if I'm not mistaken or 2000, I'm not sure. So that is what collaboration would do for you. I am looking to collaborate with YouTubers on this YouTube streets as time goes on. But if you really want to grow a thousand subscribers real fast and you are a good acquaintance with a big YouTuber, that can help you achieve your goal so quickly. As in so, so quickly. I'm not even kidding. So it's good to also collaborate with other YouTubers and don't just, like I would say, don't just also collaborate for collaboration's sake or whatever. Just make sure that also your contents kind of align so that even when there is exchange of subscribers, they have been exposed to like similar value or like similar content. You understand what I mean? So for you to grow your channel, you have to collaborate with other YouTubers and do it respectfully and professionally and all those good stuff. Next would be to create high quality content. And what is high quality content? A content that has good visuals, good audio, and the content itself is bringing value to your audience. Invest in good equipment, invest in good editing software, and take time to create videos that are engaging and that are entertaining. You know, you don't want to put up you know, a video where you've planned, you've recorded and, it, and at the end of the day is like, you did not give it your all. Like you don't want to feel that way about any of your videos. So whatever is what doing is what doing well. So yes, you don't have to have a camera, but just make sure that you are using your best to create your best content. There are so many people on YouTube that use their phones to create content and it is chef kiss amazing wonderful so for you your best equipment could be natural lighting make do with that your best equipment could be your phone make do with that because trust me there's always growth i i never always had this camera i was always using my phone before i graduated to this camera and by the grace of god i will graduate to a bigger camera you know a bigger space maybe have having an entire room for my youtube content creation YouTube content creation 
is a process. Just make sure that when you're creating content, the audio should be clean, crisp, and clear. I know that that's why some YouTubers actually create their content at night, where everybody is sleeping or, you know, where everybody is asleep and there's pin drop silence. So that could be you. You have to work with what you have to make sure that you are giving your best. That is the whole point of this particular tip. Make sure that whatever equipment, whatever instrument, whatever editing tool you are using, give it your best. No mediocrity. Excellence. Make sure that you're giving excellence every time okay and that is one way you could actually grow your youtube channel next tip would be to host giveaways and contests also you can do a meet and a greet to get to know your subscribers better hosting giveaways and contests is actually a great way to connect with your audience as well and also doing a meet and greet is even more personal where you have to meet your subscribers face to face i know this doesn't really work that much for uh smaller youtubers especially those that have not achieved um a milestone but you can start small there is no rule anywhere that say you have to have 5,000 subscribers or 10,000 before you can host a giveaway or host a, a meet and greet just make do with the opportunity if you do have the opportunity to do so to meet with your subscribers do that because it's going to create more engagement and even give you more subscribers because trust me words move from place to place and people tell people stuff okay and last but not the least so that we don't get this video hanging for so long i know you don't want to hear it but that is the truth be patient youtube is one of those platforms that you really have to be patient I for one know that YouTube will stand the test of time and that is why sometimes it is this way but just be patient, be consistent, keep posting, keep giving value, keep doing you, keep improving, you know, um, let your subscribers that subscribed to you five months ago see a difference with you now like one of my subscribers reached out to me and said that oh wow like your editing skills and your setup has really improved and he really liked it that made me feel so good because i'm like okay people are seeing my effort yeah 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 so just make sure that you are always at your best as you grow on youtube don't be that person that Oh, you just started your YouTube channel and yes, maybe your audio was like bad and maybe people forgave you for it, subscribe to your channel still, but like three, four, five months down the line, you've not learned from that and improve your audio. No, 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 no. Be consistent, be engaging, create high quality value content and trust me, you will get there. I am rooting for you. I am so rooting for you. So yes this video has come to an end i hope you really really enjoyed this video if you did please do give it a massive thumbs up like share subscribe do all those beautiful things we do on here on youtube and i want to end this video by praying for those who are planning to start a youtube channel or those who have a youtube channel and they've just let go of it but they're having the nudge continue because they will create value i pray for you that god will help you god will give you the grace it will give you the strength to continue with your youtube content creation and i pray that god will keep bringing ideas into your mind you know it will keep giving you ideas giving you good thoughts giving you good dreams of of what to post of what to do of how to navigate your channel and make it a success and reach people all over the world and make a difference so shall it be in the name of jesus Amen. So till my next video, thank you for stopping by. Bye.